Hi, how is everyone? So Astro Kids, today I just wanted to talk a little bit about this lunar eclipse full moon that is coming up on July 16th. And most likely what I will do is I will pull a card for each of the zodiac signs tomorrow for this event that is coming up. But as you know, the full moon is a time to release, to let go, to allow things to be as they are. It's really a great time for manifestation and for just allowing the universe to flow through the lessons and the things in your life that need to grow and prosper. And it's really a good time to unpack the things that no longer serve you as well, which, as you know, is a big theme throughout this whole year is releasing things that no longer serve you. Also, with this being a lunar eclipse that is sort of finishing out this eclipse season that we are in, that started on July 2nd with the solar eclipse and Cancer. And this is a partial lunar eclipse in Capricorn. So this isn't necessarily as intense as it would be if it were a full lunar eclipse. However, with this being a lunar eclipse, you want to keep in mind that this is going to be a time where you're going to want to release and to allow yourself to learn these lessons and to go with the flow. If you think about it, this Mercury retrograde that we have gone through with the eclipse season on top of it and Mars pushing on Mercury, this has been all for us to learn and to accept things as they are. For a lot of us, I feel like People kind of lose their minds over Mercury in retrograde, sort of get lost in the fear and what Mercury in retrograde means for them. And it becomes like this really fearful thing, like, oh my God, Mercury in retrograde's here again. And I feel like that becomes a cycle for a lot of people. That becomes a cycle of fear and stress and worry, which is defeating the purpose of actually going through this Mercury in retrograde, right? It's defeating the purpose of working through these lessons, working through these old things that need to be improved, these areas of your life that need to be better and worked on overall. This idea of living in fear over Mercury and retrograde, like, oh my God, the technology is not going to work. Things aren't going to go as I want them to. This becomes a fearful thing for a lot of people. And it sort of puts you back into this place of not learning your lesson. For a lot of us, the lessons and the things that we need to work on in our lives overall are things dealing with fear. We tend to dwell in this place of fear and separation and we tend to live in anxiety and worry and stress and depression. And it doesn't do anything to better our lives. If you want to change and improve an area of your life, and I say this being a astrologer, a psychic, and also a life coach, I say this, if you want to work on improve and better something in your life, you must do the work to change it. You must change your mindset, you must set the intention, and you must do the work. You cannot change or improve anything by sitting in a place of fear. And that is what is going on for a lot of people. And something that I've seen during this Mercury in retrograde is as I have decided to let go of fear and to let the universe be in control and guide me in the correct direction that I am being led in and just allowing things and releasing things that no longer serve me, 
this Mercury in retrograde is super easy for me, right? Things are working out for me. This is going as I would like it to go. And it's because I don't have an expectation. I don't have a plan. I don't feel like I need to be in control, right? I am allowing this to flow and to go as it should. I am releasing fear. I am working on the areas that the universe is guiding me to work on. And so for a lot of you who feel like this is a awful Mercury in retrograde or you are going through hard times, a lot of you, this is because you have some soul work to do. You have some work on your own that you need to do. And something else I also say that is that during Mercury in retrograde, it's not a time to be forceful. It's not a time to try to force anything to work or to go as it should. It's a time to really take the time to reflect and to release and work on these areas that you need to work on. And this is important also being in this eclipse season, leading up to this lunar eclipse, this partial lunar eclipse, slash full moon in Capricorn, we are going to have to release these old fears, these old traditions, these old belief systems, these old ways of being. These things from the past, these things that we once valued before that serve no purpose in our lives. And we cling on to it. We hold on to the fear. We hold on to the belief. We hold on to this idea that we need to restrict ourselves and to do things a certain way in order to gradually get to that success. And I'm telling you that if you change your mindset and if you set the intention and if you do the work, you will succeed regardless of any of those old ways of doing things. We are in a process of changing and growing and advancing as a collective. And so these old ideas, these old traditions, these old values, they no longer serve us. And I'm not saying to disregard something that you value or care about. What I'm saying is these things that we call tradition that actually close us in and restrict us and put us in a place of fear or needing to be in control are the very things that we need to release, the very things that we need to let go of. That is what I'm saying to you. And once we get to this partial lunar eclipse slash full moon in Capricorn, a lot of you are going to have a lot to unpack, to unload, to release. A lot of old belief systems, old ideas, old ways of doing things. And so it is great to take this Mercury in retrograde as a review period, a a period to really look at the fine print, to really look at the details, to really look and see like, wait a minute, this is traditional, this feels comfortable, but does this actually serve me? Does this actually help me or guide me? or assist me in achieving my goals in any way? Or is this just a way to restrict me so that I live in fear or I feel like I need to be in control? That is what I am suggesting to you is to review this, to look over this, and to make sure that you are living in a way that serves your highest, greatest good. That is my overall message to you as far as this eclipse season as far as the nodes as far as this mercury in retrograde as far as the other four planets in retrograde this is my message to you is to release anything and anything at all that doesn't serve you no matter if it is traditional or not If it is traditional and it serves no purpose in your life, then there is no reason to hold on to it. So that is all I have for you today. 
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content. And I hope you all have a great day.